How would you say the British and European stimulus plans have been going in the past six months? They have failed. They failed even in the one thing they were meant to do, which was to get the banks lending again. Uh, the economy didn't turn around. The only difference is that we're now going into the recession that was going to happen anyway with enormous debts, which will take generations to pay off. So what did we actually do with these stimulus packages? It was sold as pumping money into the economy. But where do you get money, right? <laughs> you don't get it from Saturn, you don't get it from Mars. You have taken that money out of the economy through taxation in order to pump it in. So all you've really done, when you break it down, is you've taken money out of people's pockets and you have spent it on their behalf through state bureaucracies. Now, if that really were a better way of allocating resources than leaving people to make their own decisions, we would have lost the Cold War. I wouldn't be doing this uh, podcast because there wouldn't be any technology of that kind, but I would be speaking in some old room in front of a desk in Russian. And how would you characterize the current Anglo-American special relationship? I think what the basis of the special relationship is not relations between governments, but relations between people. The great thing that we have in common is because we share a political culture, we tend, when presented with the same sort of problem, to react with similar solutions. I'm a member of the European Parliament, and I'm sometimes teased there. When we go into uh, Afghanistan or we back uh, the US in other overseas deployments, my French and my German and my Spanish colleagues will say, come on, you guys, don't you have an independent foreign policy? You know, Why are you just going in? You, you're like an American aircraft carrier. And my answer is, look, it's, it's not that we're going in just because Washington is going in. It's because sharing an outlook, sharing a way of looking at the world, when we are faced with the same issue, we tend to react the same way that they do. We bridle at injustice, we dislike bullying, we are prepared to deploy proportionate force in defense of freedom. And that makes us different from you guys, but it helps to uh, cement the bonds of the free English-speaking people who have always been first in the defense of freedom.